and it's five five six two two three. So that bitch ain't gonna kick. And it just is scary all the way around. Voda should get together. I don't know if you've ever seen Voda, but let me just show the video for everyone out there in uh, YouTube and Facebook land. This is the video right here. If you haven't seen it, prepare yourself. Um, let me demonstrate something for y'all. Y'all hold on a second. Can you guys hear in the morning mental. I'm gonna show you Matt, just how you stupid some people are. But give me a whip. Matt, can you hear it? Yeah, I can hear it. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, a, it was a little loud. The first uh, AR that he bumped. All right, this there it is. First weapon that I ever bought. I bought this weapon back in 1990 in Germany. All right. If he bought that weapon in Germany in 1990, how did he did he import it to the United States? In Germany, I, I, I don't did they even sell ARs in Germany in 1990? It's hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure I saw a quote written on there somewhere. Yeah. I I don't know. Um well let's 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 keep on going. Mm -hmm. This is an XR15 shorty. We call it a bull pup because this bitch got kicked. All right, all right, all right. So it's an XR15. XR15 short. Shorty. I guess that means. Shorty. I never looked like a short, short barreled rifle to me. No, that definitely looks like 18 inch barrel. And that also doesn't look like a bull pup. It's definitely not a bull pup. Yes, he called that a bullpup, and it's five five six two two three. So that bitch ain't gonna kick. Uh, yeah, I mean, or, do you have a picture, or can you pull up a picture of what a bullpup rifle looks like for some of those that aren't very familiar with that? I don't uh, know what a bullpup rifle looks like, but I'll pull one up. <laughs> but I don't think I, you know, I don't want to yeah. get. So I'll just pull up a picture. Give me one second here. Uh, I'll pull up a picture so you guys can see what a bullpup looks like if you don't know. And I'm sure everyone here at the moment does. Yeah. XM Shorty Bullpup. Yes. XM uh, uh, XR40, uh, XR15 Bullpup. All right. Oh, man, Matt. Now you got me. me okay, this is what a bullpup looks like. Right there. Let me pull up another one. There you go. The chamber is behind the handle uh, with a magazine back there. Well, what is it? Oh, this is funny. Pew pew tactical. Well, pop regular. Ooh, yeah, there's a good picture. Bull yep. pup, not a bull pup. Pew pew tactical is a really cool website. You guys got to check those guys out. Um, I hung out with them in Florida. I did a machine gun shooter while the site. Pretty cool guys. Young guys, too, out in California. So pew pew tactical is pretty cool. But yes, mm -hmm. that's not a bull pup. All right, let me bring up the video and we'll continue with this awesome show of firearms knowledge. All right, let's let's go here. Let's, let's break this down. This bitch will knock you the fuck down. No, it won't. In no world where will an AR-15 knock you the fuck down. Roger, designed like eight-year-old girl, nine-year-old girl shoots an AR-15. There's tons of videos of kids. Shooting an AR-15. Matter of fact, they designed the rifle and the uh, uh, round to be uh, for less recoil for more accuracy. Yes, it is. There's tons of kids shooting an AR-15. You know, it's it's funny. 
it's like this dude has no idea what he's talking about, and he's talking about how well trained they are. I have no no qualms with you know what they were doing. I I don't. Okay. But when you start doing this, okay, so well um, stuff. And let me let me bring up something really quick from House of Guns on YouTube. Good channel. Check them out. I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to show you something. Okay. Look right here. Read what it says. House of Doom. So here. Top seven top. year old first time shooting the AR fifteen. Yeah. Top. Look. And on this side. Yeah. All right. Okay. Get that finger off the trigger. Watch. Watch. They can't put the. Yeah. That All right. On. You're doing good with your. Okay. Keep it seven year old. Put it safe. Shoulder it. The. Uh, Nope. Well, she got more tra firearm training than uh, the Green Master does. Watch. Give us one more. Okay, finger off. All right, that's a seven-year-old. I would love to see. I would love to see him get his hands on a three hundred eight or AR ten. All right. Yeah. The interesting thing about this weapon is if I pull back the bolt, see that? See the bolt? There's no bullet in there. Pay very close attention. If I'm not paying attention and I take this weapon and I bang it, look what just happened. The bolt goes forward. The weapon has fired. I didn't okay. All right. All right. Here you go. In that example, the bolt is back, right? Mm -hmm. If you have a okay, open bolt systems are basic machine guns, which it's not a machine gun, but it the you can't make an AR-15 with an open bolt system. Uh, it would be considered a machine gun by the ATF if you did. So it, I know it's stupid, but that's the law. So when you chamber around in a civilian AR-15. The bolt is forward. Forward. It's a closed bolt system. Even if the bolt racked forward when you did that, the firing pin is not going to fire because it's a closed bolt system. It's just pitting it into battery. The only way that AR-15 is going to fire if is if someone pulls the trigger. So by sitting down and touching the AR-15 to the ground, you're not going to fire a bullet. That's it. The round is not going to fire. The primer is not going to get be struck. I have no idea where this guy got his gun training from, or if he ever if he owns an AR-15. We know that. We can see that. Mm -hmm. When he goes to shoot it, I've seen videos of him shooting. Has he never realized that the bolt is closed when it, the bolt has to be closed before the gun is in battery and is not locked back? Simple question. Yeah. <clears throat> you ready to continue? No, but let's go for it. Didn't touch the trigger. I just simply banged it on the table. And you're an idiot. If you sit down and you bang this on the ground, you will blow your head off. It happens mm -hmm. in basic training every day. No, it does not. I, I searched that. I can't find one instance of a soldier sitting down in basic training with the AR-15 and shooting his head off, blowing his head off. None. Send me the article, please. But no, it does not happen. You're making excuses for someone who is not well trained, who was a member of your militia, who went out there and marched. That's it. You're making excuses because you want to act big and bad. And now no one's afraid of you because you want people to be afraid of you. And no one's afraid of you because they realize that you and your people are freaking idiots.
And, all, and you probably end up shooting yourself more than anyone else. And you all get a letter and a flag saying your son was killed in a training accident. An old shotgun. You know what? Something just occurred to me. Everyone out there, let me know if I'm crazy or not. Remember, you can donate $5 and get a free patch. The next $5, get this patch. Or or like the regular no quarter for tyrants patch. Or $10, you get you both. $25, you get you a signed book by me and my niece Bella will sign it for you. And remember, Monday from 4 to 6, the 100th episode. All right, let's go back to this. All right, let me bring this up. Everyone out there watching, let me know. Is that guy a skinnier, younger Samuel L. Jackson? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. He actually looks like a uh, gentleman I used to work with. I, I'm not going to say his name. <clears throat> uh, same attitude and everything. Get these mother effing snakes off this mother effing Facebook video. <clears throat> All right, let's let's go. If you drop it, it will fire. So don't believe no, these motherfuckers running around talking about you shouldn't have had your hand on the trigger. You don't have to have your, have your hand on the trigger. Let me show you again. Once again, he's going to demonstrate how big of an idiot he is. Yeah. I'm going to sit down. I'm tired. You just committed an incident. Your hand was not on the trigger. Doesn't make a difference whether, and it was all safe. Mm -hmm. No, I just realized something. Stop lying. Your your guy did not do anything. They had a negligent discharge. They shot their own people. Three people. Yeah, uh, he just said something about a shotgun, and that's one of the rumors that was going around that the guy uh, wasn't a part of uh, NFAC. Uh, yeah, he was, uh, and also it was a shotgun. So if it was a shotgun that did it, why is he going all about the uh, AR or XR shorty uh, rifle? <laughs> so he's yeah. just contradicting himself. Yeah. Shorty, it's, it's not a short barrel rifle. It's not a shorty. It's not a bullpup. You are an idiot. You have no clue what you are talking. Unless about. you understand weapons for real, don't you listen to these motherfuckers okay. who have okay. no intention? Okay, okay, okay. He says unless you understand the weapons for real, obviously you don't. You do not understand weapons for real. If you did, you wouldn't make this dumbass video. You know what this looks like. Um, this looks like a, a video. I don't know. Brandon Herrera makes these funny videos. We're like, you know, people making fun of people. This looks like a Brandon Herrera video where he's just being facetious. But this guy is for real. He must be being trained by both. I'm picking up one and who don't understand that weapons go off by themselves all the time. No. They don't. 